In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You will agree that as humans it is almost impossible for us to accept something that we cannot see, we cannot touch, we cannot taste, we cannot hear. I mean, think about it. In the writings of St. Paul in Romans chapter 4, he talks about Abraham, man just like us, with all the struggles and weakness and failures. He said, a time came in Abraham's life, he believed in a God who calls things that are not. There's nothing. He calls us so they are. The invisible things we cannot see. Abraham said, God, I see it. What was he talking about? God promised him a son. But he started believing he already got the son that God promised, although he could see it with his senses and experience it. So, the scripture portions we read today for our holy church all talk about this amazing subject, experiencing God's protection and help. So, where is God? So, one of the disciples asked Jesus, <laughs> Lord, it is good enough for me if you can just show us the Father. You have and I have asked often, God, where are you? I've been talking to you so long, but look like things are not getting better. We don't say there is no God, but we are confused. But that never changes the reality of God who is watching over us. The illustration, of course, from the scripture you read from the life of Moses. God knew that Moses was going to be the deliverer, but he was born in the most terrible circumstances where the Pharaoh orders all the kids to children be killed. And Moses' parents and mother responded, the scripture says, by faith and acted, knowing that God will protect him. And the scripture says, he's a shield and he is our protector. What is protecting means? Look at your eyes. You see, you see I'm blinking. How many thousands of times your eyes blink? You know why you do that? Because the eyelid protecting your eyes from dust. The other day I was riding on the bicycle and I could feel millions of little insects all over. It was the night, evening time. And, but I realized none of them are going into my eyes. Two reasons. One, I had the specks. Second, my eyelid. You cannot see it. But God is our protector. And not only that, He is our helper. Sometimes we forget that we could have had thousand accidents and thousand crises and problems. But we never experienced that because God, with His grace and mercy, removed all those. His invisible the shield, his angels protecting us. But we should recognize that and we should respond to that. Saint Peter, we heard about him. Satan wanted to destroy him completely. But Jesus said, I prayed for you. Even when you face problems, your faith will be intact. That's exactly what our Lord is doing for us. So do we have a reason to be confident about what the Lord is doing? Yes, a million reasons. That is, 
think about one tiny ant just crawling and think about you how do you compare you with a little tiny black ant crawling you see that's what david a 16 17 year old young boy said giant you are 100 times bigger than me and you got million people with you but i come to you with empty hands but my god is my protector and i will overcome so what did david do he put his entire life problems difficulties unknown known his failures his lack of strength everything in god's hand how do you do that through prayer that's the reason i recommend you my children to pray all the time lord jesus son of god have mercy on me this sinner i am nothing i am helpless but you o oh lord you are my protector you are the one who is my shield and my all in all let's confess that and live by that blessings on you